And we just mentioned about the bubbles being transparent, didn't we? And being reflective. And the reason we can see those colours is because of it being transparent and being reflective. Because we get light hitting the outside of the bubble, but we also get light going through it and being reflected off the inside. So we get two reflections, and depending on the thickness of the bubble, we get to see those different colours. So that means that the bubble must be different thicknesses because we can see different colours. So why would the bubble be different thicknesses? One of the things that happens is the bubble actually is getting thinner. It's getting thinner. But why would the bubble be getting thinner, do you think? losing water. water. Yeah, it's losing water. Because if you think about what happens to water, if you leave water lying around outside, what happens to that water? It disappears, doesn't it? Where's it go? What happens to it? Yeah. Well, yes, it, I mean, that's it. it, it, it who said it? Somebody said over here. It, uh, it dries up. Yeah, it dries up. And it's it. Can we think of a, a name of that property of being stretchy like that? So when we add washing up liquid to water, we make the water, we change the nature of the water, and we make a solution that's elastic. And it's because of that elastic nature that makes bubbles round. It's round. Now we do have to be a bit careful with that word round. Do you know why? Do you know what I had for tea last night? I had a pizza, and that was round. But it wasn't like a bubble. So it was round like a... Cinder! Not a cylinder. A sphere? A sphere, fantastic. Round like a sphere. Um, and there was a scientist called Boys. That was his name, Boys. Not girls, Boys. And um, he used to do experiments on bubbles. He goes, goes, we're going back to the 18th century, quite a long time ago. And he tried doing different shapes. The bubble is curved quite strangely. Now that bubble is taking up the smaller surface. That shape. So architects who use that, archi architects will model that because they can, if they can build that shape, then they're going to use the least amount of, uh, of uh, material.